We all love dark rides, right? And we've established that no one does them like Disney. When you look back at some of the classics, you think one thing. There's not a single way I'd improve any of them. They're perfect. Dark rides are iconic, getting their start in the early 20th century at fairs and amusement parks. They featured simple tracks that would guide guests past painted scenery and props. By the 1920s, pretzel rides were becoming popular. These electric rail rides featured tight turns and basic mechanical effects like skeletons or ghosts popping out of the dark. After World War II, these rides began to become more and more popular as amusement parks began to expand their attractions. Animatronics, black lights, and synchronized audio began elevating the experience. That's when Walt Disney crashed the party and asked everyone to hold his beer as he unleashed Peter Pan's flight, Mr. Toad's wild ride, and Snow White when Disneyland opened in 1955. And we all know how quickly things progressed from there. But there was one thing that remained in place over 100 years. That thing? The track. No matter how immersed you were in the ride, there was always a track that was determining where you travel through the attraction. Imagineers started thinking, what if we weren't limited by a track? Just like that, Pooh's Honey Hunt at Tokyo Disneyland became the first trackless dark ride. But how does it work? Through wireless navigation, of course. Sensors on board each ride vehicle follow a mapped out route using GPS systems or in some cases LiDAR. That stands for light detection and ranging. I just had to look it up. And that guides the vehicles through the environments. Once again, it leads to better immersion. That's one of the keys to all of these innovations. Imagineers are always looking to find ways to better immerse guests. It leads to better storytelling, and that's ultimately what Imagineers are tasked with doing. Telling stories in a way that hides all of the strings. They want you to be surprised without realizing that you're being manipulated to feel that way. Trackless rides have just been getting better and better. From Ratatouille and Mystic Manor, all the way up to Rise of the Resistance, arguably one of the most immersive experiences at any theme park. 